Now, Sky News has spoken to a mother who says her 12-year-old daughter took her own life directly after talking to police about an alleged rape. Samina Halliwell told police she was raped after being groomed over Snapchat. And the way Merseyside police dealt with her complaints, her mother says, left her broken. Sky's Lisa Dowd has this exclusive report. She was just 12 years old. A 12-year-old that they adored. A 12-year-old who said she'd been raped. Naming the, the perpetrator and saying what he did to her was one of her last words before she went into the coma. She didn't come out of it. I saw every single person in that ward stopping and crying. And just looking. And I knew she was dead. Samina, who was autistic, had taken an overdose shortly after police interviews about her allegation. The attitude was pretty much that we were an inconvenience. If Smina wanted to pursue this, it was going to cause that particular officer an administrative problem. And did Smina really want to pursue this, it will be her word against his. Just 1% of rape allegations in England and Wales lead to someone being charged. Zamina said she'd been attacked by a boy she knew. He took her into the woods and forced himself on her. She said that she kept saying no, no, no all the time. But he wouldn't listen, he wouldn't stop. She said she was really, really scared. She said she was absolutely terrified. Samina was later beaten up by people who knew the boy she'd accused. It all fundamentally changed this girl, and her mother says that the way police dealt with her complaints left her broken. I think Merseyside police are responsible for a lot of mistakes that they've made. Their failings are disgusting. There will be an inquest into Samina's death, because of that, Merseyside police say they're not able to comment. They say they're cooperating fully with the coroner's investigation. Samina's family say they will never give up on her case. They believe the system she found herself in has to change. Lisa Dow, Sky News, Southport.